Smaller airlines took advantage of the coronavirus pandemic last year to grow business. As the aviation industry screeched to a halt with borders closing, the carriers mostly based at Wilson Airport were on hand to fill the void. Faisal Ahmed has the details. Globally, the aviation industry ranks 2020 as one of the worst years in its history. Forced to ground to a halt at the height of the pandemic, the sector is still struggling to emerge from the period. Locally, however, it's not all doom and gloom for some operators out of Wilson Airport. The period, they say, gave them an opportunity to reinvent and attract business. We worked with the manufacturers and we came up with a better solution. It's called a simplified uh, cargo kit solution, which actually allows you to retain the passengers and also do cargo. What we did is we increased our cargo, cargo carrying capacity by uh, utilizing uh, cargo uh, aircraft and at the same time uh, converting uh, passenger aircraft to uh, uh, cargo so to be able to uh, enhance that uh, extra cargo capacity. With the pandemic creating both medical and humanitarian crisis, evacuations, mostly medical, and flight charters to destinations under lockdown provided such carriers with an opportunity to stay afloat when everyone else was literally down. Because of being able to be innovative and uh, differentiating the product, we were able to retain all our staff. Actually, we have added a few staff during the COVID, the COVID time. Uh, were our staff affected? Yes, initially we did also some bit of adjustment, but we, our, even our salaries are very close to what was there before the, before, before the COVID. But it doesn't stop there, as the global borders slowly began to open up and everyone else was still testing the travel waters, the carriers added more offerings to their service. Compared to pre-COVID, uh, assuming that pre-COVID you had, say, uh, a, a percentage of 70% at the current time and during the COVID period, that was reduced to less than 30%. Business dropped down to less than 30% in terms of uh, comparison. So uh, you can imagine dropping from that higher level to uh, less than 30%. And you're going out there talking to clients, uh, interacting with clients, uh, giving them an, uh, charter solutions to try to encourage them to come back and, and fly. According to the International Air Transport Association, IATA, major airlines lost more than $120 billion over the period, with more losses expected to continue into 2021. With passenger travel still muted, legacy carriers like Kenya Airways have been forced to rethink their business models. The airline is now focusing on cargo to grow cash demand, boosted by, among others, e-commerce. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.